In this step then we will make a material for our corks that are currently sitting in the flasks on the table and we're going to use that as a way to introduce cylindrical mapping for UVing. So we are going to go into our hypershade first of all. We'll clear the graph and we'll make a new AI standard surface. Let's give it a name. M underscore cork should suffice. Because this is going to be another matte material, we will probably choose clay because there's nothing else really close to what I want. And then I'm going to load in the colour. So as you can see now, I'm starting to put more of my textures into this folder. And I'll just repeat again, if you want access to all of the textures that I'm using, you can get them using the link in the description below the video. That will give you access to my project file. And then all you need to do is go into my source images folder, copy all of the textures, and then paste them into your source images folder. Okay, so I'm going to go for the diffuse on the cork. Lovely. Then let's get the roughness loaded in. And that's going to be the R. Lovely. And then we just need the normal map. And that should add the bobbly look to it. So I'm just going to load this in again. Make sure we choose tangent space normals. Load in the file and cork normal. Okay. And now what we want to do is assign this to our corks. So you might find it a little bit easier to see. If you just go back into shaded mode for this, or maybe even wireframe mode, and then we're going to select both of our corks and just do shift select like that. And then what I'll do is for this one, I'm going to do right click on there and assign material to selection. And now I can press six back in here and I will see my corks. Lovely job. Okay, let's UV map them. So you can see they're not quite spot on in the way that I would hope that they would be. And I think what I'm going to do is just work on one cork at a time. So we'll select this one first and then I'm going to go to display, hide, hide unselected objects. And that will just isolate this cork for me so that nothing else gets in the way. So you can see the top and bottom actually aren't bad, but going around the side, not really what I'm looking for. So what I want to do is just right click on this, we're going to face mode and I'm going to use marquee selection to select all of those faces going around. Now what I also want to do is this ring here on the bottom and this ring here I also want to select because I think they're part of the side or they look like they are to me. And I could just select them manually or I could double click on the the loop but what I'm going to do instead is hold shift on my keyboard and press full stop which is greater than and that will just add to the selection around my current selection so that I did that band there and that band there okay we're now ready to UV map this so we're going to go to UV and we will click on the little options box for cylindrical you will see that there's actually not much there to choose we'll click on project and that straight away is looking quite nice that's much closer to what I'm going for so at this stage I can go into object mode and have a look at it so that is actually passable as it is, but you can see that there's a difference in the size of the texture on the side and the top in what we call the texel density. It's a lot more dense on the sides than it is on the top. To remedy that then, we're going to go into our UV editor. So we'll get it from that menu there. We are going to go to UV shell mode. So I'm just going to right click in here, go to UV shell. Each one of these pieces, so we've got the top and the bottom and going around the side, these are all called UV shells. I'm going to select all of them by getting a marquee selection. So I've also got my UV toolkit here as well. If you can't see this, don't worry, you can just go to tools in your UV editor and you can click here. So currently for me, it will hide it or I can show it. So with these shells selected, we're going to go to arrange and layout and we're going to click on layout. And what this does is keeps the texel density consistent. So this will be our top because it's slightly bigger than our bottom. And here is the side. So now if I just close these windows, you should be able to see that now the size looks really consistent. With that done then, I'm now going to bring everything back with display show all. In fact, we can do display show last hidden, which will bring back everything. And that cork is done. So I'm not going to repeat that process. You can just rewind the video if you need to. But I want you to sort your UV mapping out on your other cork. And then we can get ready to move on to the next step.
In that one, we're going to be creating our material for the window frame and the window sill, and we'll also be using an automatic UV projection to get the UVs on that one sorted out. So I will see you in the next step with sorted UVs on this cork, don't forget it. See you in the next step where we'll do a bit more materials and UVing. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.